Taking time to set up shipping charges is a must when starting an online store. And whether you want to offer free shipping, real-time quotes, some sort of flat rate offer, maybe a medley of all of those things, you've got to set it up in your control panel first. So this video is going to cover how easy it is to work with the BigCommerce Shipping Manager. First thing to know is that creating a shipping charge to display during the checkout process consists of two parts, shipping zones and shipping charges. A shipping zone refers to the geographic areas that you want to be able to ship to. If you decide you do not want to create a zone for a specific area, customers will not be able to buy a product and have it shipped to that address. This means, if you'd like, you can start shipping to select areas in which you feel comfortable first and then expand your reach from there. Yeah, I'm talking international. Some examples of a shipping zone could be North America or perhaps the 48 contiguous states or even local pickup. You can chunk geographic areas however you'd like to help save money for your business and keep those shipping costs really reasonable. Statistics heavily show that high shipping charges tend to discourage customers from completing the checkout process. Card abandonment is no good ski when you're selling online, so just be aware. Now, a shipping charge is how you will ship your goods and how much you're gonna charge. Your shipping charge could be FedEx Ground, UPS Next Day Air, flat rate shipping, free shipping, USPS by Indicia. Yeah, you've got tons of options to help accommodate your specific business needs. Once you're in your store's control panel, head to store settings, then select shipping. This will bring you to the Big Commerce Shipping Manager. Okay, first things first, you can find your shipping from address right here. This address indicates where your business physically ships its products from. If this address isn't present or accurate for some reason, take a moment and adjust it as needed. This address will impact real-time quotes and represent the address listed on your shipping labels if you decide to print them from your control panel. Now, you can find your current default shipping zone right here. This zone, as it is, means that your store is only shipping to this area. In this instance, you can see we're here in the United States. This zone is quite obviously turned on. If a zone is ever turned off, customers will not be able to purchase in that zone. Okay, if you'd like to add more zones or areas in which to ship, go ahead and select Add a Country. Then, select a new country from this menu. Save. And great, you've added Canada as a shipping destination. Now, another quick example. If you wanted to open up your store globally, you would drop down the menu next to the Add Country button and naturally select Add Rest of the World. Please remember, no matter what, if you do not assign a shipping charge to a zone, customers will not be able to purchase and ship to that particular zone. So for this video example, let's add shipping charges to our default zone. Remember, a shipping charge is how you're going to ship your product in that area you'll see that you currently have that pre-configured flat rate turned on. This is that default charge BigCommerce set on your store, so you could start taking orders right away. If you'd like to make edits to this, just click Edit. You'll see here I've entered a $4.95 flat rate shipping charge. This means any customer who orders anything from my store will be presented with a $4.95 shipping charge during checkout. Remember, this will only take effect for those customers shipping to an address in the United States because we're setting up shipping charges for our United States zone. If you do decide to adjust this 495 rate, simply change the number in this box. Also know you can always change any display name to whatever you'd like to show during the checkout process. It could read flat rate per order or whatever is gonna make the most sense to your customer. Last but not least, use the drop-down menu to decide how you're gonna charge, per order or per item. Here is another option. As you can imagine, free shipping will convert a lot of shopping carts into sales. So if you wanna offer free shipping, turn it on. Now you can choose what order amount you'd like to start offering free shipping. You could enter $0, which means free shipping on everything, or, as an example, you can set up free shipping over $99 for the United States. This is a great tool to boost your average order value. Now, the last flat rate option is Ship By. To add this charge, flip the switch on. This allows for us to create shipping charge ranges based on either weight or order total. One thing you'll want to be aware of are weight ranges. Big Commerce starts at 0 to 20 pounds, but that's a pretty wide range for most stores. 
a package that's one pound is gonna be much cheaper than shipping a package that's like 19 pounds. Let's replace this 20 with a two. Then set a price on any orders that weigh between zero and two pounds. For this example, we'll put 495. Now customers will be charged 495 if they have less than two pounds worth of a product in their cart. How do you know how much your products weigh? If you have not already watched or read the tutorials on adding a product, we recommend doing that now. Each product you add to your store has a place for adding its total shipping weight. Okay, select the green plus sign to add another range, two pounds to four pounds for instance. This will likely be a little bit more expensive to ship, so I'll set it for $5.95 for this example. You can keep adding ranges all the way up to your highest order weight that you'll be offering. This could be 100 pounds, it could be 1,000 pounds, it all depends on your business. Okay, so a little note for you. As you go higher, you probably don't need to continue with two pound ranges. You could move to 20, 50, or 100 pounds depending on your shipping model or products. A cool thing to know is that the ship by table can be edited at any time. If you find that your 11 pound package was cheaper to ship than you estimated, then just come back to your shipping manager and adjust the rate. So you've got things just the way you'd like for now. Be sure to save at this point. Then we highly recommend going to the front of your store, here, to spot check your shipping charges. To save some time, we've added a few products to the cart and logged in as a customer. You'll be presented with the shipping charges you've created for this zone. Now, did you catch the fact that we're not seeing free shipping? Remember, we set the free shipping option to apply to orders only over $99. Well, now you're a shipping whiz. Tune into our next BCU video if this one didn't cover what you were looking for.